19 children have been hospitalized following a crash at a Christian preschool. We're talking about an SUV that went right through the walls of the school. All the details coming up, guys, with a full report. First, if you could, though, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. This happened in the town of Anderson. This is located just northwest of Sacramento, California, and it happened right around 2.30 p.m. on Thursday. You got to think you got kids here at this Christian preschool. It's called Great Adventure Christian Preschool. They're playing one second and then the next, before you know it, here comes an SUV going right through the wall of the school. And from what we learned, there were two children that were pinned underneath the car at the time that it went crashing through the wall. Again, like I mentioned here, 19. There was only 19 kids that were actually in the building at the time. All 19 of them had to go to the hospital. There was also two teachers that were on site as well. Only one of them had to go to the hospital. So only one of them didn't go at all here. Now, there were various reports out there with the injuries as far as, you know, what was actually taking place at the time when this story first came out. I wanted to wait a little bit before coming out and actually doing a video about it to get some more information about what took place and also as far as the driver goes and all of that. New details have now emerged on this and the good news what we can report to you is that despite the fact that all 19 kids had to go to the hospital, these injuries that they suffered, none of them are expected to be life-threatening. So that thank God, is excellent news. They obviously had people praying for them when this first took place. Now, we understand that 14 of them were actually taken to various hospitals around the area in an ambulance, uh, but that five others were later taken to the hospital by their own parents and family members. So uh, the other thing is that many of them that went to the hospital, they took them there strictly for precautionary purposes. So they didn't have any noticeable injuries at the time that the car came through the wall here. So they just wanted to get them checked out. Uh, we don't have specific details as far as the exact injuries that the other children did suffer. Uh, but when we heard that, you know, they're not going to be life-threatening and nothing severe, uh, we're just going to take that as great news and that God was definitely here uh, and did not allow uh, for these children to be more. Uh, severely hurt than they were. Now, a couple of people that were around the area at the time uh, had described the scene as, you know, the teachers that were just trying to rush these toddlers out of there as best as they could, try to protect them, uh, you know, from many other debris falling on them. We do understand that besides the two kids that were actually pinned under the car, there was some debris that was toppled on top of some of the other kids there. One girl, they said, had, had fortunately had blood all over her face. Uh, they try to attempt to get her cleaned up as well. And then the question came up about the driver. So, you know, what was this? Well, how, you know, the car is going to go right through the wall of a preschool here. Well, according to police, there did not seem to be any sort of indication that she was driving under the influence. Uh, this was a woman driving the car. She also had her mother with her in the passenger seat. They stayed on the scene to talk to police, uh, and then they were released. So no arrests have been made as of yet. We still don't know what caused this crash to take place, whether she was swerving out there in the road and, and something had happened and caused her to swerve off and hit the school. We don't know. There was talks of it being, you know, intentional, but just don't have any facts to back that up right now. The main thing is that these kids are going to be okay. They're going to survive and they're going to recover from these injuries. And that was one of the things that I was praying about when I heard about this story was that any injury that was suffered, that God would deliver them, heal them quickly. And so thankfully, um, we got the good news that looks like they're going to be able to recover just fine. As far as the school goes, when it might reopen, that we don't know. But uh, again, prayers going out to the entire staff there, Great Adventures Christian Preschool uh, the God would just be with all of you at this time and also the parents of all of these kids involved. It's got to be the scariest thing as a parent. You get a call that your child was injured uh, due to the way that it happened here with this crash. Um, you know, you just can't put into words what that might feel like for somebody to have to go through. And look, you know, 95% of the time here, we're talking about 
end time Bible prophecy headlines. And I'm always, you know, stressing this need for people to come to Christ in these days. And I see this story about this Christian school and we always preach the gospel here. That's our goal. We talk about these end time Bible prophecy headlines. We're trying to get people to Jesus. And we always offer people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And I still want to offer that opportunity right now. You know, if you're watching this video, because I'll tell you what, Jesus is coming soon. And you want to make sure that however, you know, you meet him, however you leave this world, really, that when you do, you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. So I'd love to lead you in this prayer right now. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, it's to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's, that's something that we all are. But the good news is this, God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and he rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent. What it means is to turn from your sin. It doesn't just mean to say you're sorry. You have to actually turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. And again, our prayers are with everybody involved here with the school for these children. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.